Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be discussing how we can perform a basic static routing in Packet Tracer. So what is static routing? The static routing meaning is the path is fixed. Okay, the, the path from source to destination is already fixed. Okay, it's predefined. Okay, so, so the packet will be taking up that path to the destination. It's called static routing. So we're gonna use two routers and two PCs and we'll do it via command line interface, CLI. Okay, let's get started. First of all, I'm taking two routers here, 2811. These are the two routers. And uh, then we're gonna use here two PCs. Okay, just to save the time, two PCs. Although you can scale up your network, uh, okay, you can have three routers, four routers, whatever, but the basic principle remains same, okay. So we have uh, four, uh, four devices in total. Now let's add the connections. So connections, router and PC indirect, uh, internally both are same devices. So we're gonna use copper cross a, cross uh, crossover. FA of this Ethernet port of this router to the Ethernet port of this router, we have connected. In the same way, Ethernet port of the PC to the Ethernet port of the router. In the same way, Ethernet port of this PC with the Ethernet port of the this router. Okay, this is set up. Now let's give the uh, ranges, okay? Uh, because we know that router always work in a different network. So in this case, this is a different network for router. This is a different network for router. In the same way for this router, this is a different network. This is a different network. So in this case, let's uh, now first label the uh, networks, okay? We're gonna have 100 as my network ID, uh, left side. Middle, we have 172.18. This is my middle, means class B, class A on left side, B in middle, and class C on the uh, right side. Okay, we're taking some random uh, ranges here. Uh, you can have your own ranges as well. So this is done. Afterwards, now we have the, uh, let's assign, let's assign the IP addresses here, okay? First of all, uh, go to the PC, okay? And go to desktop, go to IP configuration. Uh, here, because it is a left side, it is 100.0.0.1, okay? This is my IP address for this PC. Mask will come automatically, it's a class A, so 255.000 zeros. And default gateway, gateway meaning is through which your data will travel to the next outside world or the different network. So it is the gateways FA01, this is a gateway. So FA01's IP address will be of same range. So we're gonna use second usable IP, which is dot two, done. This is done. Although uh, you can also use the command uh, in the command prompt as well. If you want to give the uh, IP address, it is IP config space 100, what is the IP? Uh, we have take given this 255 dot all three zeros, space the gateway. Gateway is uh, 100 dot two. Okay, so this command is equivalent to that what I've done in the graphical interface. The reason of uh, displaying this command to you because we are doing via CLI. So you should know the command uh, as well for the, uh, how to give the IP address to the uh, PC. So this is equivalent to this. Okay, what have we have done here? Okay, done. So this is done. In the same way on right PC, uh, we can do, it is uh, 199.17.17. 19.1 first usable IP uh, mask is we know it's a class C 255 three times dot zero and default gateway which is FA01 of this router it is 199 second usable IP 17.19.2 okay done so both IPs been given successfully now open up the router on the router let's go to the CLI in a CLI when you open up you enter here okay always write here no so we have reached to this router's uh, prompt here. First of all, the first command will be always enable. This is done. Afterwards, we have entered to this privilege mode, second mode. First is user interface, second is privilege one. In this case, we can give uh, always the command as configure terminal. Configure terminal. Just remember those commands, okay? It go in same order. Now here we have to configure both the interfaces. One is FA00, next is FA01. So first is interface. First is interface FA01, because FA01 belong to 100 network. So let's give the IP address. So IP space address space 100.0.0.2. Always remember the gateway of this PC should be same as the FA01's address, it is 102. And mask 255.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. okay, done. This is done. 
afterwards next command will be no shutdown to open up the router or to switch on the router it is done you can see it has been turned green from the red now right exit go to second interface which is fa00 it belong to this network 172.18 so the same command interface space fa00 fa stand for fast ethernet okay uh, here ip space address 172.18 the first usable ip is dot one and its mask will be its class B 255.255.0.0. Done. So again the same command. No shut down. Shut down. Done. This is okay. Exit. All done. So we have given the inter uh, the IP addresses to both the interfaces. So last step is pending. We have to give the uh, static routing. The static routing command is very simple. IP space root space unknown network space its mask spaces next hop. Okay, let me explain in an easy words. For this uh, router, left router, we have a two uh, directly connected networks, which is 100 and 172. But the indirect network is 199. So for this router, this is the unknown network, 199. Okay, so to reach to this router, okay, this network, how we can reach? We can reach via this FA00. So we have to give its IP address as well. This is the whole story. So how, how, how we can give this? Let's see the command, very simple. IP space root space unknown network unknown network is this 199.17.19.0 okay then its mask it's a class c address so its mask will be 2553 times dot zero space next hop next hop is this one because to reach to this unknown network we have to go through fa00 and we already have given dot one in the left side so it is a dot two so 170 2.18.0.2 this is a complete command okay let me explain ip space root space unknown network space its corresponding subnet mask space next hop address next hop meaning is next router's address okay done this router is properly configured now last step is pending this router go to cli same steps now no first command will be always enable enable second command will be always configure terminal so these command remains the same for all the practicals. Now left side for this router. Okay, we have a two interfaces FA00. So first is interface FA0 oblique 0. So it is 172 network. Okay, remember. So IP address 172.18.0.2. And its mask will be, we know it's a class B 0, .0. 0.0. Done. We and we know the command no shutdown to switch on this interface you can see it has been turned green now the middle one so only the lower one is pending exit and we have to write here interface space f a 0 by 1 the so second interface is this one f a 0 f a 0 1 and its ip address we know ip address is belonging to 199 network so 199.17.19 dot 2 because we already have given gateway to pc this pc as a dot 2 so it will be dot 2 and its mask will be 3 times 255 dot 0 done no shutdown don't forget this command because it will turn on this port everything has been done okay now last step is pending we have to give the static routing for this right router the unknown network is 100 and to reach to this 100, we have to go through FA00 of this router, which is 172.18.0.1. So let's write the command. We know the command now. IP space root space unknown network, which is 100. Its corresponding mask, we know it is class A. So 255, all three zeros. Next hop. Next hop is 172.18.0.1. What one? done and this is completely configured now this is completely configured okay now let's check out if, if everything is working we can check this with the ping command okay let's try to ping this pc right pc from the left pc so this pc is having the command is very simple ping space 199.17.19. dot dot what one so we, we may expect some request timeouts okay but overall it should work first is request timeout is okay because we we get by default four replies 
that c second is also time out okay third one is still working okay now if we try again it will work because sometime it may take some time but next time onwards you can see we are getting four replies and this indicates this connectivity is pr perfectly fine okay i hope from this short little video you come to know about how we can perform static routing in St cisco packet tracer using two routers okay you can expand your network you can have three routers but the concept remains same right so thanks for watching guys see you next video